guys, uh, welcome back to another tutorial for how to make villages. Uh, sorry for the delay, I ended up getting a stomach flu for about 24 hours or so. Rough, um, it was pretty rough to get through. I took a uh, Tuesday off because I had it Wednesday and uh, just to recover and stuff on Tuesday. So I'm actually recording this on Friday. It's gonna be published on Saturday. So uh, with that being said, um, what we're going to be covering today is what we're, we're going to do and have it published today is um, the structure folder. So how to get to the structure folder to back up your structures and all that other stuff. If you need to delete them, then you'll know where the uh, structures are located. Um, loot tables, how we can set up loot tables in your structures and um, some entity, um, you know, some things to do with entities and stuff like that. So let's get started and uh, I'm just going to minimize that. I am in the workspace already so what we can do is if we click on workspace and then go down to open workspace folder uh, we are presented with the actual workspace folder um, and if we go to I believe it's run and then saves and then the world folder uh, there should be a folder called um, if I remember correctly generated Minecraft structures and then all your structures should be all in here that you've created so as you can see we've created I believe six different structures and it uh, has the names that we've named it so you can back up these or do whatever you would like with them uh, they're all MBT files so that's what the structure block saves them as. Now, loot tables on the other hand, um, you're gonna have to create a loot table for your mod. So we're going to do that right now. Uh, if we go down to loot table, and then we select um, a name for it. So I'm gonna call it loot table, um, or we can probably just call it, um, village loot um, one and we'll actually start with zero I like starting with zero it's just easier to keep track of uh, so we'll name it that and then what we'll do is we'll set this to um, Minecraft and then we'll set it to chest and we're going to add um, couple different roles in here so probably about five items would probably be a good idea and we're gonna have um, it set to about 20 uh, actually you know what let's uh, set it a little bit differently let's remove this and then we're going to set it to about 50 25 um, I think 12. Okay, so what we're gonna do is set this to 17 and then we're gonna probably do about nine just to make it even-ish uh, for one row and maximum rolls. Uh, we're just gonna set this to nine as well. And actually, you know what? Let's set this to six like it was before and then we'll set that to nine so that it can generate up to nine stacks of items. Uh, enable roll bonuses. I haven't really played around with this too much. Um, just for the hell of it, uh, let's set this to uh, 16 and or maybe we'll set it to 5. I will set it to 4 and 1 to 4 so I'm not sure if that's going to do anything. I have feature too much so we'll be learning about that today and uh, we're gonna have to keep this in mind uh, this little uh, loot table tag up here because we're gonna need to know that so for our items I'm going to have um, some random junk things in here for the common ones uh, probably something like um, I don't know, something like spider eyes, why not? And, well, that doesn't really make sense to have in a village, honestly. So let's do maybe some fish. Uh, fish is pretty useless. It's food, but it's useless. Uh, so we'll do some raw fish, uh, maybe salmon. And uh, then we'll do something like, for the second common item, maybe, uh, let's see here. Uh, 
maybe some carrots or beets or something like that. So we'll do some carrots. For the semi-rare item, we'll do something like um, a golden apple. And for the rarest item, we'll do like a diamond. So that's pretty good. Um, now we can probably get away with just leaving it the way it is. So we'll just uh, save this and remember this name, the ID that we gave it. Because when we actually go into the game, uh, we're gonna need to know that. So let's hop in game and then I'll show you how to set that all up. Okay, so one of the things that you might be wanting to be cautious about uh, when saving your structures is also the map. Um, biome that you choose to basically spawn it in. Grass obviously allows entities to spawn on the, the grass. So what's happened is these rabbits are all over the place because we're like in a desert or something like that. So just be aware of how you configure your flatlands and make sure no um, entities are in your area when you're actually saving it that uh, you don't want to basically have it spawn so just a tip for you all right so let's go into this one and we're going to uh, set uh, this chest right here uh, to have a loot table so we need a command block so what we're gonna do is go and give and we're gonna go at a and then our um, a command if I can spell properly command block and we're gonna grab one of these and then we're gonna place that two blocks above. And I actually have the command that you're gonna need here. So this is the command you're gonna need. It's a uh, data merge block and then we're going to target two blocks below uh, the loot table for the data and then it's going to be your loot table name or ID that you have. So this is example how it would be set up. So we're gonna place that in and that's what we're gonna be basically using. So let's minimize that and we're actually gonna put that up here. And we're gonna save that and then we're going to just uh, generate it with a button. And it should uh, let you know that it's been modified if we open it, as you can see, this is what happened. So we're gonna just take this out and try again, see if it does something different. So once we have the command all set up in here and stuff, um, just basically generate it, test it out. Um, and as you can see, it's working fine. So um, when you're actually generating it, um, make sure that you don't open it after or the loop table will basically not work when you actually go ahead. So you wanna generate and leave it. So when that's done, um, basically uh, just uh, move on to the next structure that you want. And uh, if you have a different loot table that you wanna use and you can use a different loot table, um, that can be up to you how you wanna do that. But um, again, just test it. And then when you're finished testing it, um, empty it out and then press it again and then just remove it. So it's ready for the, um, basically the saving and stuff like that. And you want to do that for all your structures. It would probably be, um, I'm not sure if the data gets copied over when you're rotating the structure blocks and stuff. So it's probably best to do it after you rotated it. So one thing that you probably also want to do after you rotate your structures is place in um, entities. So let's get rid of some of these rabbits so we can actually um, make sure that we have a decent, uh, what do you call it? Um, I'm just gonna get some splash potions. Uh, an area that we know that's gonna be safe to actually copy some um, entities with. So, uh, for entities, uh, what you wanna do for that is you wanna configure your uh, structure block. You actually wanna go here and select uh, include entities and select that on and then set done. And then what you wanna do is go in here and place down your entities that you want. Uh, villagers are a little bit harder to work with uh, it's not impossible to use them though. Um, what you want to do is be, um, again, this is why the spacing is really important. Uh, so you can basically have a little area between that you can fence them in just in case. 
So uh, make sure it's between your structures, not on your structures, so you can actually keep them in. So this should work just fine. And that way they can't uh, get out or anything like that and they'll still be in the structure itself. So once you have that done, just hit save and whoops, save and they should be in the structure. So that's good and uh, you want to do that for all your entities and stuff like that. So hopefully you guys found this uh, tutorial helpful. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.